Dirt Bike Wizards putting the finishing touches here on a 1975 Honda XL175. Um, motor's been rebuilt. New piston, rings, and uh, clutch, Jesus rockets, Marsaki shocks. Oops, the, the, um, we went to the detail shop, it's got new grips on it. Always looking pretty good, man. Do a little wheelie up the hill here. <laughs> little little bumper. Can't beat them old Honda XLs. Got a CB125 that's coming up soon. We'll be test riding that. And I've got a CT70 over here. Shane, can you shut the door? This CT's got 238 miles on it. Also, this DT400 is leaking gas. If you can uh, shut the petcock off. Another DT400 that's just been totally gone through. A DT1250. And... One of my personal favorites over here, Yamaha RD350, original paint survivor. Um, the side cover's been repainted. I don't know what happened to the paint on that. It was all messed up on that, but the tank's in good original condition. 9,900 miles. Then we've got a European Yamaha Virago XV920. That's coming up soon. And here's our Project KLR650. This has got the full stage two kit on the motor. Um, and, uh, Progressive suspension on the front. Hey, did Elka, did you get a hold of Elka for the shop? It's out of stock. I gotta go progressive one. Oh, bummer. So we, we're gonna, the shock's gonna be a uh, matching. It's a stock shock in the back now. We're putting a progressive suspension shock on there. It's got the brand new Michelin Anakis. This is a KLR 650 gold chain. Um, the uh, bike's got 2,700 miles on it. Uh, nice Michelin Anakis on the front. Did we upgrade the brake line on this thing to braided stainless? Braided stain line, Michelin Anakis, progressive suspension. Uh, the the, the uh, pegs came in too. We got IMS Pro pegs that are going on there. So that'll be pretty cool. Billy's uh, um, going through his. Uh, Billy Blyce has a master's degree in Yamaha Saker carburetors. This is the fourth set he's done this month. And uh, he's an absolute guru on them now, right, Billy? Yes, baby, runs like a top. Now, wow, Bill, Billy, I told you, my buddy Steve had one of these in 1979 or 80, whenever they came out. That's what it sounded like 40 years ago. It's just as it was when it was new. Nice job. That sounds fantastic. Yeah, it's sweet. It's what was, sweet. What would you, I know, I know this, this bike, you had to completely rebuild the carbs and there were a few issues. What, what were they? Many issues. O-rings dried out. All the things that happen to a carburetor that sits for years and years with fuel in it. Everything was dried out. We had to just pull everything apart and put it through the tank and let it uh, do its magic and put everything back together. And once we got everything sorted, then we found a few pieces were missing here and there, which, uh, you know, somebody had been inside here. There were air leaks here at the manifolds where they uh, bolted the cylinder head. So we took that all apart, surgically cleaned it, and uh, now it's got uh, Yama Bond here, which is the... Uh, the uh, goo of choice in that situation. So it's uh, only 12,000 miles. This thing's absolutely stunning. It's got the Canon filter charger kit in it. Look at these exhausts, original exhausts, no scrapes, no scratches. Beautiful few, condition. With a few exceptions. I mean, it's a survivor. You've gone right through this whole thing, brand new tires and uh, new chain. chain and a uh, new battery and we built the carburetors and new grips and she oh. sure is beautiful. Yeah, she's ready to ride. Seika 550. I can't, uh, man, uh, with this crappy weather, it's killing me. I wish we could get out and ride them a little bit, you know? Right. Putting a brand new battery in the FX DXT. That's going in today. Just going to pick one up. Uh, we've got the Ace of Spades Iron Head Sportster. Um, I took it out for a test ride today, doing some final adjustments on it. And uh, Jimmy went through, torqued down all the nuts and bolts. This is a new build with 1.8 miles on it, a completely custom built from the frame up. Uh, build so uh, with two miles on it of course you've got to go through and torque everything down again and make some adjustments on the clutch and the kickstand and uh, a couple other minor things but um here's a shovel head uh, full dresser that jimmy's doing a restoration on uh, we got the whole dash apart on that and then the xr 60 dl uh, this is coming along nicely this has the um do we get do we get this the uh smog kit for this uh, the video for your pops Uh, it's got an FMF Q4 pipe and the FMF Stage 2 jetting kit. Um, it's got the bar risers on it, uh, Pro Taper grips, Pro Grips. 
uh, Pro Taper crossbar pad. Um, let's see what else. IMS pegs. Uh, it's got a lithium battery, which I guess it reduces like four pounds of weight on the thing. And we got to get them the, the video for the uh, tail light relocation too. In yep. the battery, write this down: tail light relocation, uh, battery box relocation, and the smog kit. Those are the three things he wasn't sure how to do. So. That's coming along good. Then we've got this 95 CR500 we just finished restoring. So this is going to be coming up for a video soon. Junior will be back on Friday. And um, we'll be uh, test riding and everything. I'm doing the video, so stay tuned. Lots of great things to come. Happy New Year. And God bless America. That's today's update from the shop. We should take a spin down the detail shop and the light assembly shop. I'll show you what those guys got going down there. Stay tuned for this one too. This is a 68 Yamaha DT1 first year of the DT full frame off restoration. Uh, been working on this one since last summer. So total nut and bolt from the bottom up. One of the most significant bikes Yamaha ever made. Then of course, uh, you got the, the new um, freshly painted plastics and body kit for the KLR 650, the Husqvarna Cross 400, and the ATK 406 tank down to the other shop and uh, show what we're working on down here where well the XL you just saw that came down for final detail um, this is the 1971 Honda CB754 sidecar rig with the uh, leading link front fork unit forks I guess they're called um, beautiful sidecar rig I've ridden a lot of sidecars over the years everything uh, from a brand new Harley Davidson to um, Urals and I'll tell you straight up, this Velarex sidecar rig on this Honda 750 is the best handling one I've ever been on, bar none. And I think it has to do with the way the suspension's set up. It's got a nice stiff set of progressive suspension shocks. It's got this massive rear tire on here, like an all-terrain knobby style rear tire. And the front tire has a real flat edge on it because you're not going to lean this bike anymore. You turn it. And with this setup, the front tire and this really rigid front fork, um, around town this thing handles awesome um, and before we restored it I actually took it up the grass hill across from the Bixby house and uh, went right up the hill like nothing uh, with that big knobby rear tire and I rode it in the snow uh, it goes good in the snow with the knobby it's like a snow tire on the back but it's good for the summertime too uh, the gas tanks getting restored right now so cleaned inside and out we'll have this one up and running soon so and then we've got the Goldwing Cafe Racer coming up. Um, stay tuned for that one. We just finished. This is a really beautiful piece. Uh, this has a full custom ex four into one exhaust system, uh, custom Corbin saddle, um, custom red, white, and blue pin striping, and uh, brand new quarter cafe fairing on it. Drilled rotors, all rebuilt brakes, new tires. Just a beautiful piece. And uh, these are hot now. The, the cafe racers of the 70s this is a 1975 gold wing and uh it runs like brand new jeff casting at all sport cycles did the motor work on it and um she's just about ready to rumble it's a beautiful beautiful bike love the style honda racing corporation of america's stickers this bike only has 8,000, excuse me 6,621 original miles so it's, cut, it's mechanically brand new Superbike bars, new Motion Pro grips, nice mirrors. This is going to be a fun one, folks. Stay tuned. I can't wait to ride that. Then we've got an old Boltaco, 1975 we're restoring. A uh, 1997 CR250, a Can-Am 250, and a mini minibike. Mini so we've got an RD350 coming up. We sent the tins out to have those professionally repainted. And this really rare piece, this is a Bridgestone two-stroke. I think it's a 69 or 70. 100% um, original paint, seat, just a beautiful piece. Runs like a top. Um, Jimmy Laurinaitis just went through this. 4,000 original miles. Just a cool piece. Got an RD400 Daytona Special. It's almost finished. Wait for a seat cover to come in on that. Uh, CB354. An old 1960s CB160 with 200, 378 miles on it that we just rebuilt the motor. Jeff Casting did. That gas tank's just like a temporary little tank. We have the 
Jeff has a sense of humor. He painted vermin on it, but we have the original stock tank that's in good shape that came with the bike that's going on there. And then our old Daytona, Triumph Daytona we're restoring. So, and a mini bike and a partridge in a pear tree. Lots of projects, lots of cool bikes coming your way. It's New Year's Eve, about uh, two o'clock, and we're still getting it done here. So God bless America, Happy New Year. Here's the 2020 being even better than 19 was. Hope everybody had a great year. And next year brings you lots of days of riding motorcycles and having fun with your friends. That's what it's all about.